we're having a discussion of the most expensive knives we featured on our channel. We think this one's it, but there are some other ones. There's some other ones that were up there. The we've had two Ferrum Forge knives. Yeah. Um, the Intac SM100 that you wanted. Yes, I did. What did that sell for? I think technically it sells for like a thousand bucks. I want to say a thousand as well. The the uh, Stinger XL we had that one on here. Yeah, we that did. That was that suspended animation custom design. Super fancy. I want to say that was eleven hundred. Okay. Uh huh. Now we were talking about the Norseman, Nick Shabazz's old <laughs> yeah, Norseman. Yeah. That would have sold for, I say just, but that would have sold for just five or six hundred dollars when it was back new. when it was new. But they've gone up in value. They've gone way up in value. What did you think that one sold for? I think it was like three grand. I didn't think it was that much. I it was think like it 2, was. So that I'm one, not sure. I don't think it counts though because no, it the, the original retail was five or six hundred, something like that. Yeah, we're original MSRP. Right. Yes. yes. <laughs> not we, inflated. Then we had. Lavon of the Knife Nuts podcast. Yeah. A um, couple of years ago, really, we, we had his... He sent us three Sharp by Design knives. I think it was four or five. Four, I, I forget. The the Typhoon, the Green Typhoon was oh, the standout. Oh, yeah. Remember the, the click, click. clickety-clack? Click, click. Yeah. That one would have been around 1100 so. Yeah. This one is going to match the most expensive knives on our channel. Frankie, will you do the honors? Open up his little um, bed. Yeah, it is kind of a bed, isn't it? it? Would it be a coffin? Would it be a, um, what do you call that? A tomb. A tomb? Yes, yeah. a tomb. Real quick. Never the same. I believe this to be true with yeah. the Yeah, looking at all the pictures, none of them are the same. It's true, yeah. But it is this knife that we have here. Check this out. This is the Olamic Swish. A lot of you will be familiar. Yeah, we're going to need to constantly do this. We'll have to keep cleaning him. Don't worry, Nick, it's in good hands. Yeah, this is... You will have seen this knife. This is Nick Shabazz's knife that he picked up, oh, around the beginning of the year. Yes. Should we tell a story about that? Yeah, we'll tell that story. <laughs> this was available right around, I want to say, Christmas 2017. To or New Year's, yeah. New Year's 2018. And it came up on Instagram, Olamic. I believe it was Eugene yeah, that was Eugene. putting this one up. And... It was uh, $1,100 was the price, and we... We came so close to buying it. We really so did. So close. This is hand-carved, you guys. Look at how awesome it is. And bird being a bird, I thought that we really needed it. <laughs> being a bird, yeah. <laughs> By the way, should we get that out of the way? Yes. This is indeed raw. It is raw. A lot it's of people not will say, Horace. A lot of people will say it's Horace. We thought so, too. If it was Horace, I would have bought the knife. Really? Because I love the story that goes with Horace. <laughs> Read the Wikipedia story on <laughs> Horace if you want an interesting little story. Yeah, talk about straight Mori Povich from, like, <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But Maury if it was Horace, I would have bought this knife. Yeah. But this is hand-sculpted. Um, we'll put the link into the designer. I can't pronounce his name. I won't try. <laughs> um, but does some amazing work. Okay, I believe he is Russian. Yeah, follow... Eugene on Instagram, or follow Olamic on Instagram. Both, really, yeah. And you'll get to see all, he's carving all kinds of awesome ones. Yeah. So, at the base of this knife, it is basically a swish. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. And we've handled eh, four or five swish knives so far. It's the same thing. It's just got all this extravagant Egyptian carving into it. It just makes it so pretty, too. Look at the decay. I love that. That's probably my uh -huh. favorite feature, the decay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. My favorite is the bird on the front. Oh, yeah. That's the highlight. And I love the color combo, too. It's like a bronzy color with the blue mm -hmm. hardware. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Yeah. But it is basically a Swish. Mm -hmm. Other than this, it's titanium scales. It's the, um, I believe this is LMAX blade steel. I think most of the Swish knives use LMAX, all right? It's a flipper design. And it's Clip one, point. It's one heck of a flipper, too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a modified uh, clip point, isn't it? It swishes out. Swish. Swish. The action is hydraulic. It's not quite drop shut, it's just fluid is the action. And you can hear the detent. There's no shaking these knives out. Mm -mm. Yeah, 3.75 inch blade, so it's on the bigger side. It is a little big. Yeah. Not what she said. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they're all the same in the sense that they're all this same blade style, the, the flat ground with the swedge. By the way, the swedge, or blood groove, 
that goes all the way out. I love that. It can be used to remove blood. <laughs> to let it flow. Oh yeah. It can be used to middle flick. The detent on these, Frankie, I'd call it perfect. It's it's not stiff, it's not light. It's dialed for the blade. That's what yeah, I say. and then it just sucks it in. It's more hydraulic than it is. It's um, it's a little stiffer. The the, the yeah. attraction's a little stiffer, but it's very fluid. And I like where he has the lanyard hole too. It's just in, embedded in there, so it doesn't even look like it. True, true. It makes it really cool. Yeah, it looks like it's truly part of the design rather than like an addition. Yeah. Right, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? I didn't show too the, the barrel spacers. There's a flow through design. Oh, and I like how they carve the clip too. That makes it really oh, cool yeah. too. Yeah. With the beetle on it. Check it out, guys. Yeah, eleven hundred dollars, and we we I don't want to get too much into the details, but we had the opportunity to buy this knife again, and we just can't do it. Yeah, we could, but we're to the point where we're. I don't know. We're buying more usable knives. I we're guess we're buying point. knives that are more realistic for the channel. I guess yeah. is what you could say. This put it this way: a regular swish, okay, which this may as well be if it weren't for the carving. Right. A regular swish goes for, I think they start around $550. Five to six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Five hundred to six hundred dollars, call it. That's much more realistic for us, and it is possible. You could see us own a, an Olamic swish, yeah. especially with the amazing customer service that Olamic and Eugene offer. Mm -hmm. They are uh, pretty impressive that way. Yeah, and you've seen us feature the buskers quite a bit on our channel, too. Um, two of those knives multiple yes. times, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I did sharpen one as well. They're they're awesome. Yeah, they're they really are. They're amazing knives. They're amazing knives. Yeah, it's very likely we'll own one. Actually, I want to say something real quick. Uh, I'll add another story to okay. um, Eugene's amazing customer service. Cause, <laughs> well, he's got so many out oh, there. Yeah. We've heard oh, them from yeah, other people. Sure. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we were at Blade 2017, and we said, we really want to pick up one of your knives. You know, we're so impressed with your table. I think in 2017, Olamic was our highlight table. Yeah, it was. And we were like, we should get one, we should get one, we should get one. And he said, well, don't... Don't buy the wrong knife. Make sure it's the right knife for you. Yeah. And we were just like, okay. Yeah, well, wow, and you can that's... customize them like so well, much. True. It makes but it so fun. For him to say that instead of, you know, Here. get this one or get that one. He's like, make buy sure it's the right. Buy all of them. Yeah, make sure it's the right knife for you. And it was just like, I, I thought that was really cool. One thing that would be perfect, I would say, is something in between the Swish and the Busker. Because the Busker for me is a little small. And then this is a little big. So something like in between would be awesome I yep I agree I agree this is even a little big for me these days um, if anything we don't really do his and hers as much as we used to <laughs> if anything these days we kind of do the tweeners we do a lot of tweeners <laughs> <laughs> yeah but had this one joined don't take that out of context people <laughs> that sounds a little weird that sounds a little weird here go ahead and set it down okay had this joined our collection I mean we have the the Medford um, Slim Midi. Yeah. But that's five, I think five hundred, five fifty. Got the Marauder. We paid zero, zero. <laughs> for that one. Actually, thank you, Nick. <laughs> Eight hundred. Okay. That's an NCC custom. That's yeah. probably what five fifty. No, that was no, more than that. No, it was eight ten. I think it wasn't eight. Yes, it was. It was somewhere between six and seven. Somewhere it like was that. I, I forget. Nick. Right. Tell me. Yeah, Nick uh, Chaprin. Yeah, Chaprin. Uh, another Nick. I don't think he watches too much YouTube. No, he doesn't. All right. And then another Sharp by Design. Sharp by Design, yeah. That would probably be our closest comparison knife that we have to the Swish, quality-wise and all things considered. Yeah. A Sharp by Design custom, not the not the new stuff that he's doing with Riyadh. We're talking about the, the custom that he makes out of his garage. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you laugh at that, but that's I know, true. it's true. Cool. Yeah. It's a cool garage. Um, quality-wise, it's, it's kind of right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, this hand carving, I wonder how long this took. A long time. Proprietary. Well, should we talk about that that weekend, too, that we were thinking about possibly getting this? We were texting back and forth, texting back and forth, and then we were like, oh, he decided to sell it. And then Nick's like, oh, I bought it. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Well, he, <laughs> and we're I like, think, sweet, we can handle it. <laughs> I think Nick might have been the one that told us about it in the first place. Yeah, yeah and it was cool that Nick bought it because we knew that we'd be able to get it, and here it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing knife. 
We'll put a link into Blade HQ's selection at any given time of the Swish knives. They've got decent, and you'll see they're just one to the next. They're all different. Well, and then go to his actual website too, and you can see all of the awesome color combinations and make one yourself. We'll put the links in. Yeah, that's yeah. what, if you want to customize it, go for it. It's awesome. Amazing knife. Yep. Regrets? I guess a little bit. I, you know, thinking though, I, I really do want to own a Swish, but this would just be one that I could never carry. Yeah. That's the problem with it. But it's worn. But we have another knife like that. Where's the, uh, actually we were going to get that out. Um, oh, the Escaton. It's a little bit like that. I mean, this one's only three fifty. dollars um, It's still a ton of money for a knife, but it's it's so extravagant. It's all, it's on this level of extravagance. I never want to carry or use that. Yeah, that's who's, true. Who's carrying and using their Escaton, really? <laughs> really? I don't know. I, I, I swear. I, I would, would say this is more usable. Probably. Which the is design. weird. Well, but the blade yeah. is. The blade yeah. is certainly more usable. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, look for us to possibly get a Swish in the future. Or if they ever do something in between the Busker and this. Yeah, yeah like wouldn't that say. be sweet? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's the uh, hand-carved raw R.A. Swish. People are going to say, no, it's Horace. But there's going to be back arguments. And forth, back I know, and forth. I know. But from the designer and carver, it's raw. Right. Yep. So, take yeah, that. We'll see. We thought it was, we thought it was Horace, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're <laughs> very right. similar. All right. I think that's Should everything. Should we send this back? Oh. Oh, send it back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe even in shape. Now it has to go really far away. So, who knows? It might get lost in the mail. Oh, true. True. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll figure out how we can... Uh, commandeer this now. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.